Welcome back for more Vampire Diaries. It's finally time for season three, my dudes. I'm very, very excited. Normally, I just jump straight into the reaction, but I do have a couple of things to go over with you really quick. YouTube doesn't allow small channels like mine to do like community posts or polls. So I don't really have a way to communicate directly with you other than through a video or a pinned comment on one of my videos. So I created a Twitter account that's strictly for updates. So you can follow me there if you just want to know, you know, what's going on with the channel, if uh, a video is going to be delayed or if it was blocked or just kind of like what I'm filming or like just what's going on with the channel. There won't be any kind of spoilers for any other shows because on my main Twitter, like I pretty much just post about Buffy and I always feel bad when I do that if any of you guys are following and you haven't seen Buffy and you don't want spoilers or you just don't care about Buffy. So anyway, you can follow my new Twitter if you just want updates. And the second thing is that I'm going to be filming a bunch of stuff for Halloween. Halloween is like my thing. <laughs> I live for Halloween. Every year I take a two week vacation from my job so that I can celebrate Halloween. Yeah, that's that's how important Halloween is to me with the pandemic and all. I can't really go anywhere, but I'm still gonna take that vacation and I'm going to use that opportunity to film a bunch of Halloween themed videos for the channel. So I'm gonna be doing a few movies. I'm not sure exactly which movies. I'm gonna be putting polls on that Twitter account. So you can vote on what horror movies I react to. I'm also going to be reacting to The Haunting of Bly Manor, which is the second season of The Haunting of Hill House. They're not related. It's an anthology, so you don't have to have seen The Haunting of Hill House to watch The Haunting of Bly Manor, although I highly, highly recommend it. As far as I'm concerned, it's a perfect season of television. And lastly, I'm going to be reacting to season nine of The Walking Dead, I've already filmed three reactions and those are already up on my Buy Me A Coffee page. I'm not going to be able to get those edited and up on YouTube until October. So we're going to have two new shows and we're going to have like three or four, hopefully, maybe, movies. I'm probably overextending myself. <laughs> That's a lot of filming. But I just want to take advantage of it because otherwise I don't have enough time to do more than one video in a week. So I'm just going to take... The opportunity that I have with this upcoming vacation and just film a bunch of stuff. So anyway, enough of my rambling. Let's get started. So this is season three, episode one, The Birthday. Oh, is one of my predictions right? We'll find out. I promise I'm not a serial killer. I just want to use your phone. Okay, anybody ever says I sure. promise I'm not a serial killer? So, they probably I are. <laughs> no. I was gonna say, is it gonna be seven? <laughs> He's so scary, I love it. No. May my friend come in your friend? Yes. Is that really enough of an invitation? Please don't. Please. I love it. <laughs> Which is why I planned it anyway. And my mom wants you to call her. Did she find something? An animal attack in Memphis. It's the third one this week in Tennessee. And you're sure it's a vampire? <gasps> Alert's there! Yes, but that doesn't mean that it's close. Does he live there? Hey, Elena. Happy birthday. Oh. Thanks. Not a very happy birthday, though, is it? <laughs> Hey, I was gonna... Oh. Oh. <laughs> you heard me. You knew that I was here. So you should learn to knock. What if I was indecent? <laughs> but I can see if I can get you an address. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see you at the party. Give me that address. I do like her. How's the grill treat? Well, it's teaching me the value of a mundane human experience. A summer job is good for you. You needed some normal in your life. Uh-oh. <laughs> what was that? Has he not told anybody? 
Piggy. Oh! <laughs> Why is it those two so? still? Thanks for dating. So is my mother. What? We're together all the time. It's not a leap. <laughs> That's crazy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> my friend here is a vampire. He's compelled everyone in the bar, so don't look to them for any help. I, however, I'm something else. A hybrid, right? I'm both. You see, I want to create more of me. Now, you being the first werewolf I've come across in many a moon, pun intended, Ray. <laughs> oh! Oh. Vampire for sure. Stepping for sure. How do you know? Puts the bodies back together. <laughs> back together? Definitely stop. Like a serial killer. But you kissed him. Probably screwed with his head. Tyler! I'm sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say, how does he know? Don't worry about it. Just because I tell you things doesn't mean you're allowed to know them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am horny all the time now. Yeah, tell me about it. Sometimes I feel like I'm gonna explode. It's a vampire thing. It's a werewolf thing, too. Convenient. It's like I can't turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope you get lucky tonight. <laughs> I'll see you later. Yeah. Could they be any more obvious? Don't worry, I'm not gonna lose it. At least not before the cake. It's your party. You can cry if you want to. <laughs> I know I promised not to buy you anything, so don't worry, I didn't pay for it. You stole it? No. Found it. Joey. He hates me. His hatred of me has driven him to drugs. He doesn't hate you. He hates that he's not with you. Oh, is something bad okay. going to happen to her? Bye-bye. Is Stefan going to happen to her? supposed to be like mortal enemies i mean isn't that how it works in the vampire werewolf universe <laughs> matt, say a little louder matt what? what's wrong with you but you have to admit that you're kind of just letting your life pass you by and isn't Stefan the one who wanted to make sure that you lived it well it's only been a you few to make months worse? right i just want to know that he's alive that's it that's my wish i think you're about to find out I'm afraid she's going to be dead and posed. Stefan. Hello, brother. <laughs> You're right. I don't need any saving. I just want you to let me go. No, I got a birthday girl at home who's not going to let me do that. David, I can't move, David. Oh, man, I can't move. No, 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 it's okay, Andy. Stay calm. Hey, Andy. You can move now. No, 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 no. no. I said, let me go. <gasps> what the? Uh, help me. Hey. If you don't say something, then I'm gonna keep dating. What would I say? Oh, don't do that, Caroline. I've already been there once with you, okay? And you said no. You shut me down. I'm not going back there again unless you make it crystal clear that. Oh! <laughs> All right. 
Stefan, he's gone and he's not coming back. Not in your lifetime. What happened in the car, man? Nothing. Come on, man, you said Vicky. Oh, just tell Why him. You said my sister's name. Why? I know we've got our hands full with all the supernatural stuff in this town, but... Ghosts. Like I said... You know, what, you don't uh, believe in ghosts? It's all messed up. <laughs> He'll thank me for it later. <laughs> there we go, Adam! Is that how you create a hybrid? I'm sorry, Elena. You're 18. You can do all this alone now. You can do it better without me. Oh. What a shitty birthday. Of course, I didn't expect anything less. I feel like all of my predictions are coming true. That was a really really great premiere i was i i had a lot of fun with it like it, it was it was lighthearted, but of course there were sad moments which you know you have to expect so so basically all of my predictions i think ha are true <laughs> i think everything that i predicted came true where um a few uh a few months into the future and stefan and klaus are off doing their own thing and I, I feel like it's going to be a while before he returns to our group. Um, I don't know if I said this, but I was thinking that maybe um, Damon and Elena would have been like searching for Stefan over the summer. And that seems to be the case. And I said that I thought maybe Stefan would be the one who needs saving this season, particularly saving from himself and from, you know, his deal with Klaus. And that seems to be true. I was hoping that Caroline and Tyler would get together. Um, Damon and Elena seem like they've gotten close. Uh, did I miss anything? Like, I, <laughs> I think everything that I predicted came true. In the single, and, and it was Elena's birthday in the very first episode. So basically, I'm awesome. <laughs> Like, that never happens that everything I predict comes true in a single episode. I had so much fun with that episode. I really enjoyed it. Um, Stefan is scary as hell, and I'm here for it. I really enjoyed Klaus. Um, I, I loved uh, Caroline and Tyler. I loved um, Matt being kind of a part of the group and talking with Jeremy. Uh, I, I find it interesting that Jeremy hasn't, it, it doesn't seem like he's seen anybody else besides his two ex-girlfriends, which is interesting. And he hasn't told anybody, which is also interesting. So I don't know what to think about that. That's, that's strange. I thought he would have been seeing all different sorts of things and all different sorts of people. The fact that Vicky said help is interesting as well. Um, of course, Bonnie wasn't around. She wasn't even at Elena's birthday party. That's her best friend and she wasn't at Elena's birthday party. What the fuck? Oh, I was sad that Andy died. I, I don't know if it's worse what Stefan did killing her in front of Damon or I was kind of picturing her like like maybe she would be gruesomely posed and Damon would find her. So, you know, that's not great. Uh, it's sad. I, I, I feel bad for Damon and Elena particularly. And Alaric. Alaric doesn't seem to be doing well. And that makes me sad. And I'm bummed that he left. 
But overall, you know, it was just a really simple episode. We're just kind of like checking in with everybody and, and kind of just establishing like where all the characters are right now and what everybody's up to. And I really, really enjoyed it. I had so much fun. I I really, I kind of think that maybe this, this was my favorite premiere. I mean, I didn't even like the pilot, so. Um, the season two premiere was good and it had some shocking moments um, towards the end, but I actually thought, I remember thinking that it was kind of slow. And this one, I just, I just had so much fun with. And even like the, the, bad stuff like the scary stuff like like <laughs> Stefan <laughs> I'm sorry I love Stefan when he's evil but I mean he's not I guess he's not evil because clearly he still feels he's I, I don't know if it's a show if he's actually turned off his hum humanity or if he's just pretending to have turned off his humanity I I can't really tell because clearly at the end there oh that that broke my heart but, um, yeah, I'm just, I really don't have a lot to say. Like, not a lot happened, but I'm just really, really, I really enjoyed it a lot. And I'm really excited about where everything is headed. So, I guess that's it for now. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye!